Hello everybody, welcome back to the training of the Modicon M221. In this video, we talk about the memory management of the PLC M221 using the SD card and also the software. So let's go to the presentation. In order to use the SD card, it's very simple. We just need to follow these steps, okay? that basically we need the SD card, we need to create this file, okay, and a script, and then depend on the action that we want, we can use upload or download, okay, upload the information from the PLC, we need to write this command that is going to upload the information from there, and if we want to modify, we just need to use the download with this information. Then just put the SD card in the controller and wait for the operation to finish. So, if we open this SD card, okay, let's just format it, format, wait for this to finish, close, okay, basically what we need to do is to go over here, let's create a file, for example, a script, now for example, no, we must call this script.cmd to change this okay now we need to edit what is inside so edit and in this case what we're going to do is to upload so we're going to read information from the controller upload usr for user i forget this one over here num let me see if i write perfect so we need to save this okay close okay just put this over here so we have the SD card now I'm going to remove it I'm going to put the SD card into the M221 The SD card has already finished. So let's see what do we have over here. Let's enter the SD card. Okay. It has something over here and we have the script load. So let's see what it returns. So it has executed the script, this is script part, and it just sent over here, okay, to this directory the memory variables so if we go user memory we have this csv file and if we go here and open it we can see all the positions variables that we have okay and let's try to change some values okay so i have this application that is actually running right now here and you can find some information. So if we go here to these three variables, okay, MW10, we have five, three, and zero. So let's change this for um, 12, this one eight, and this one um, 28. So let's save this, okay. This is the file that I have over here, okay? This is the one I have modified. Let me just show you again. And the view, scroll down a little bit. Here, all the value, this is gonna be the new information that I want in the PLC. But on the script, what we need to do is to change from upload to download. File, save. Now, I'm going to remove the SD card and I'm going to put it on the controller. Pay attention is these three variables, okay? They should change once I put this. Okay, so as you can see there, they have changed the value. I'm going to remove the SD card there we go. As you can see the values has been changed. 
and let's see the commands over here a script there we go you have the information over there okay so another way to do it this instead of using the SD card okay we can go to the commissioning and while we are connected to the controller we can go to the memory management to make a backup of the actual PLC so if we go back over here this is the folder this is the folder that I working with okay m to one so we can specify the addresses that we want to take a look so let's say this and this backup from the controller right now while we are connected backup okay now reopen this again we have this configuration so if we go to user memory memories edit we can see a short list and here we can modify this 55 15 uh, 18 save now restore from this one okay and I'm going to restore the values from 10 to 25 I don't remember restore now the values that I had posed over there are in here okay so what we have seen is how we can change the actual configuration or we can make a backup of the actual not configuration but the, val the actual values of the PLC and store it on the SD card or in your laptop if you are connected with the eco-structure machine expert basic and how simple it is using the software just connect upload and then restore the values and with the SD card also is very simple the same way so Thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.